Hey folks, Mr. Dell here. We are looking at um, a given a couple in and out tables, X and Y tables, determining what the rule would be, and then completing the table based on that rule that we find. So this is from CPM, and this is course three and section 3.1.1, number 3-4. So here's my first in and out table. So what I want to do is I'm, I, I need to figure out what is that pattern, right? What if I give you the a two, what do you do to the two to make it an eight? And then using that same rule, that negative two becomes a negative four. And then that same rule, the eight becomes a 26. So uh, here's how I go about this. I look and see what math I can at least start with. So two to eight. Well, two to eight could be add six, right? Maybe I'm going to, I'm going to, put my possible rules up here plus six. So two plus six is eight. But does that work for the other one? So there's negative two. Negative two plus six oh, is positive four, but I needed a negative four. So it didn't work. And again, we can see here eight plus six is not 26. So it's not that one. So then I tend to start looking at, well, I got to get from two to four. So maybe some multiplication. Well, four times two right is eight so what if i what if i my rule i'm going to say would be to multiply multiply by two times two or excuse me times four that's what i meant not two i start with a two so two times four is eight okay that works negative two times four uh not negative four it's negative eight so it's not that one either all right let's see what else we got it let's try let's try what if i multiply by three so i'm going to say uh, times three and I get six and then add two. So what if it's that rule? So I'm going to multiply by three, then add two. So times three is six plus two is eight. All right, let's check out this one. So if I take negative two times three, I get negative six, negative six plus two oh, is negative four. It worked. Okay. We got to check one more just to double, double check here. If I take eight times three, I get 24, 24 plus two is 26. Perfect. All right. So there we have it. So that is my rule. So I'm going to say uh, multiply by three, then add two. Okay. Multiply by three, then add two. There's my rule. If you want to see that as an algebraic expression, you would say three X plus two. Okay, so uh, now I got to complete my table, right? So three times X, so three times zero plus two would be two. So that's going to be a two, right? Let's go with this one, 1. 1.5. So three times 1.5 is 4.5 plus two makes it 6.5. So I'm completing my table based on the rule. Now, what's tricky is here's, this is, I got, I got an output. I got to go backwards. So if I have 23, this rule means something here times three plus two is 23, right? That times three plus two is 23. So what would that be? Well, think backwards. Let's subtract two, go backwards, subtract two, I get 21 divided by three, I get seven. Does, so does seven work? Let's check it. Three times seven is 21 plus two is 23. There we go. So let's do the same thing here. Let's subtract two, I get 300. Divide by three, I get 100. So let's check 100. 100 times three is 300 plus two, 302. So there's my rule. I've completed my table. Okay, so let's try another one. So now let's look at this one. So this one here, I've got to figure out what do I do to the two to make a five? Again, I might make my little notes. What if I add three? Two plus three is five. That's true. So let's see, would it work for this? Negative two plus three is not negative five, it's actually positive one, so that's not gonna work, right? I can see that here is, again, negative four plus three is not negative 10, so it's not add three. So then what about times two? Let's go, what if I multiply by two and then add one? Let's try that. So it's gonna be, uh, so I'm gonna say two, right, times, I'm gonna use uh, n, two times n plus one. Let's check that, so that means, Multiply by two, then add one. Two times two is four plus one is five, okay? 
Let's check this one. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. Negative 4 plus 1 uh, is negative 3, not negative 5. Let me just double check here. 2 times negative 8, negative 4 is negative 8. Negative 8 plus 1 is negative 7, not negative 10. So it's not that either. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. What if... I'm going to, you know, I'm going to look at something here, a little pattern. I notice I'm going from 2 to 5 and 2 to negative 5. So that's unique. If you think about it, what is that? That To get from 2 to 5, I can multiply by 2.5, right? 2 times 2.5 is equal to 5. If I multiply by 2.5, negative 2 times 2.5, I also get, in this case, negative 5. So that looks like that might be our, our winner, right? I'm going to multiply. So I'm checking, does multiply by 2.5 work? It worked here, works there. Let's check this one. 4 times 2.5. 4 times 2.5. Oh, sure enough, it is negative 10. So my rule for this time is multiply by 2.5 or 2.5. And, okay? and what does that look algebraically? You would say 2.5x. That's what we're doing. So I'm going to multiply 9 times 2.5. 9 times 2.5 is 22.5. 22 and a half. Okay. 0 times 2.5. Well, that's 0. And then I got to go backwards. So if I have negative 7.5, what do I multiply that by to get negative 2.5? So you can divide and notice it's going to be negative 3. Right? Negative 3 times 2.5 is negative 7.5. If I'm going to go the other way here, what is 27.5 divided by 2.5? Let's see, I believe that is, is that 11? Let's see, so it goes in there. This is where, I, you know, using a calculator is okay when it comes to these because you're just trying to get that math done quickly and just determine whether the rule is right. And yes, I was right, it's 11. So 11 times 2.5 is 27. So there's my rule for this one. Last one. I've got to have my rule, which is what? So I want to go, here's my, here's my two that I have, three that I have. Four to three. So oh, that's interesting. Can I just subtract one? Four minus one is three. But then negative 20 minus one, not negative nine. So it's not just minus one. You know what? They've given me the zero. <clears throat> What's nice about the zero is it tells me that I'm going to, if I multiply or divide by something, if I do anything, I always going to have this plus one or minus one. In this case, it's a plus one because it's going to have a one. So now I know my rule at the end is going to be add one because I'm going to probably do some multiplying or dividing, then add one. That's where that putting in zero. So what would it be? If I multiply four times something and then add one, will I ever get to be three? I would not. So I think I got to do some division. So let's try that. How would I get to this? So let's try divide by two, then add one. So divide by two. So two divided by two is two. Add one is three. Ah, nice. That worked. Let's try it this one. Negative 20 divided by two is negative 10 plus one is negative nine. Ah, it worked. So it's going to be divide by two then add one there's my rule so i, I want to go this way if i take one and divide by two i get one half and then one so i get one and one half divide by two negative 10 divided by two is negative five plus one is negative four now go backwards this is a little tricky You're going backwards instead of adding one i'm going to subtract one and then instead of dividing by two i'm going to multiply by two so subtract one I get three and then multiply two, I get six. So let's check that. Let's go, let's go the right way. Six divided by two is three plus one is four. That worked. Uh, this one here, ooh, I'm gonna have to subtract one, which is, let's see if then add one. So I'm gonna subtract one, I get negative 3.5. Then times two is negative seven. So let's check that. Negative seven divided by two is negative 3.5 plus one makes it negative 2.5. All right, there's my rules. There's my completed tables. Hope that helps.